Hello, my name is Tochko Udenia, and this is a management and personal plan for my startup, Paradigm Star. In this presentation, I'll be going over my ownership structure, my management plan, how I recruit, and my selection process. And also, I'll just briefly discuss the candidates for each management position. Paradigm Star was founded in 2015. Our principal office and production is located here in Jacksonville, Florida. We will be raising capital to build a local brewery and tasting room. Paradigm Star was founded by Tochiko Udenia. The brewery has established its reputation as a local community business that utilizes many local ingredients to produce its products. My three main products are gold, diamond, and platinum. Each will deliver a unique taste that has not been seen in the industry today. My company will be incorporated as a privately held corporation managed by the owner, that is me. Our mission statement is we will provide craft spirits with the highest quality. We'll, we will have a locally centric culture focusing on community events while utilizing primarily only local ingredients. I will manage all finances until production and profits dictates the need to hire additional employees. My financial projections are based on less than ideal assumptions of low initial sales, which could change. However, the company does not plan to sell any assets. Some manufactured products will need to mature to reach its optimal quality taste. The following slide is just my financial plan and it's based on sales of 346 units for 2015, 400 units for 2016, and 464 units for 2017. My management team will consist of the executive officer, also another co-founder, my operations officer, the quality insurance officer, a human resource officer, sales and marketing officer, and the board of directors. The board of directors and management team will be on a four-year vesting schedule. The equity Equity split will be based on yearly evaluations. These evaluations will be administered by the founder and a committee in the company. The evaluations will be performed by the board of directors. If a founder is not performing up to par, they will be put on probation period for one year. The executive officer will receive 20% equity in the company and the founder will receive 30%. Each board member will receive 6.5% and each manager will also receive 6.5% of the initial shares offered. This is just a layout of the organization chart. The board of directors will consist of specific people that have expertise in marketing, craft brewing industry, finance, business, and knowledge in the local and state government licenses and government contracts. The board of the board equity will initially each member will initially receive 6.5% like I indicated earlier. The board will have to agree to buyout terms and a yearly evaluation on commitment and contribution to the company based on agreed upon terms. The board will be evaluated by the founder, the co-founder, 
and illegal repre representation. After a year, either the founder or board of director member can request the implementation of a buyout clause at any time. Also, the number of additional shares received by the board of Mem board of director members will be determined by the by their evaluation. For the management team, each officer will re initially receive a salary of forty thousand, which will be reevaluated on a yearly basis. The management team will also receive six point five percent of the initial shares, which I indicated earlier. Each management officer we have to agree to buy out terms and a yearly evaluation on commitment and contribution to the company based on agreed upon terms, similar to the board of directors. However, the evaluations will be performed by the board of directors, along with the founder and uh, co-founder. If a management officer is not performing up to par, they will be put on probation period for up to six months. If there is no progression, then the officers shall agree to their buyout terms. Additional shares offered to any member of the management team shall be determined by the yearly evaluation and approved by the board of directors. Every time the company raises money, the management team's salaries will be reevaluated. Here's just another uh, slide that talks about the uh, expertise of the board of directors. This slide here is just a staffing, shows the staffing drivers from our full-time employees to the salaries that each member will be receiving. Initially, early on, I will be the one managing the operations process until I have enough consistent sales. Therefore, I would not need to hire an operations head distiller until production dictates otherwise. My first initial hires will be a quality assurance manager officer and a sales marketing manager. My prediction is that I will be able to produce 75 bottles per month by myself. When sales reach this limit, I will hire a, another head distiller operations manager to take on the distillery operations. I will assume the head distiller can uh, also produce 75 bottles per month, which brings the total amount produced by me and the head distiller to 150 bottles. When the sales reach uh, roughly 150, 140 bottles per, per month, I will hire a crew member to assist in the distillery process. As sales reach the limits of the total amount produced by the operations team, I will continue to hire additional crew members to assist in the distillery process. When I reach 10 crew members, I will hire my first human resource administration manager slash officer. In conjunction of hiring my HR admin manager, I will also hire the executive officer and take on another co-founder. The XO executive officer will be responsible for all day-to-day -day aspects of the business. And due to this magnitude of responsibility, the XO will receive 20% equity uh, share in the company. Now, the key managers that I will bring on my team will have competitive salaries based on the size of the company. I will use a uh, salary scale from pay.com and other resources to provide a rational and re a reasonable base for my salary determination. My key members will be the operations manager, sales, marketing manager, quality assurance manager, and HR manager. The suggested salaries are shown below, and the initial salaries of what I'll be offering is also shown below. Next, I'll talk about in depth about my management team, who I think I should be hiring based on my personal background and my, ex my experiences with these individuals. Each manager's resume can be provided if needed. Now for my HR manager, I will hire uh, this individual that I've worked and dealt with for about six years. 
This individual uh, has expertise in human resources, about 10 years in corporate human resource operations, training and leadership development, employment law, labor re relations, recruiting and talent acquisitions, benefits and compensation programs, process re-engineering and relationship management. This person is highly organized, articulate, and decisive professional with strong problem-solving capabilities. She's very adept to uh, responses that not everybody is able to adapt to. Like I said, she demonstrates a unique blend of visionary leadership and executive business savvy with competencies to spare hands, strategic planning, and execution of court staffing operations and administration to drive all HR organizations and bottom line financial uh, performance. This individual has a master's degree in human resources. Perfect candidate for this position. For my operations manager, I will be trying to hire take on an individual that was a leader for my college basketball team. When I first got there, he was a senior leader and he made sure that everybody was uh, on par with their duties as a teammate. Currently, he has 15 years of experience in the operations field. He currently works for Napa Transportation and he is the operations fleet manager. His background is extensive in operations and being a uh, manager and team uh, leader for each company that he's worked with. For my quality insurance manager, I'll be recruiting this Navy officer, which I've been working with for about two years. He's been in the Navy for about 30 years. He's one of the sharpest individuals that I've ever worked with. He's a person that's been in charge of major maintenance evolutions. He has also been part of many quality insurance inspections and audits. And each time he has helped his command pass with flying colors. He is currently responsible for over 300 sellers and contractors performing scheduled and unscheduled maintenance on a brand new uh, Navy aircraft. He also holds his master's degree in his MBA, uh, which he just received two years ago. For my sales and marketing manager, I will be recruiting an individual that I have known for the past five years. She is currently working at a major media outlet in Norfolk, VA. She has an outgoing personality and that she is also dedicated to her craft. She was raised by military officers which has instilled in her the work ethic, dedication, and commitment to be great in any endeavors that she has chosen. She has 10 years of marketing sales experience in the Norfolk VA area. She has, like I said, alluded to, she currently works at one of the major media outlets in VA. She also worked for many radio stations, interned at Fox News. She's extremely dependable and has the ability to sell my product to any market that we choose. Now this concludes my presentation. Uh, miscellaneous documents that uh, you can request are my personal resume, my financial statements, credit reports, business and personal, copies of all my leases for my um, where we will be located, contracts, legal documents, and uh, personal and business tax returns. If you have any questions, please you can reach me at paranormalstar.com. Just leave a comment or you can reach me in my email. Thank you.